So I'm Samuel Britton and I'm from Prairie, Iowa. Um, I grew up the son of Southern Baptist missionaries and we were living on a mission base. Um, so a lot of missionary families living together. Um, and the way I like to say it is that sin entered the building. Um, a playboy got um, onto the campus and so of course all of the uh, middle school boys my age, it was perfect because we'd been limited to like censored PBS for most of our lives. It was, you know, heavenly. And I thought myself so righteous because it didn't affect me at all. Um, I went up to my dad and I said, Dad, you know, and of course telling on the others because I was so wonderful and, you know, it didn't, it didn't hurt me. Um, and telling them, I said, but it, it's really weird. I don't, I don't, I didn't get the same feelings. I said, I have those feelings when I think of Dale, my best friend. My dad just started punching. Um, that was the first day um, that I was sent to the emergency room um, because I'd fallen down the stairs. I was sent to the emergency room about six more times for falling down the stairs or tripping on the sidewalk. I'm in this constant state of fear. My mom finally starts recognizing, you know what? Hitting him might not be working. Uh, so let's try, let's try therapy. And it started with the first few weeks. I had AIDS. I was the only gay person left in the world because the government found all the other gays and killed them as children. If they found me, they would kill me. It's the perfect way to keep a child or a teen from coming out. And we moved on to physical therapy. Physical therapy was my hands being um, tied down and blocks of ice being placed on my hands. Then pictures of men holding hands would be shown to me so that way I would associate the concept of the pain of ice with a man touching me. It worked really, really, really well. My dad could barely even hug me anymore when I would scream out in pain. Then we went into heat. So um, coils would be wrapped around my hands and you would be able to turn the heat on or off. So now if we had a picture of a guy and a girl hugging, it was no pain. If there was a picture of a guy and a guy hugging, we had physical pain. Um, we then went into the, um, the month of hell. The month of hell consisted of tiny needles being stuck into my fingers, um, and then uh, pictures of explicit acts between men would be shown and I'd be electrocuted. At this point, I was completely done. God did not want me on this earth anymore. Um, so we lived on a three-story building. I told my sister goodbye, and I walked to the, I walked to the roof. So my mom finds me up on the roof. Uh, says, you know, she will love me again if I will just change. Because my sister had tattled on me. Um, my mom's up there. You know, you'll, she'll love me again if I'll just change. Um, which is not the thing to say to a person standing on the edge of a, of a building. At this point, I'm a logical person again and it shines through. This is only three stories and if I don't die, this is going to hurt worse than the others. So I run back into my mom's arms saying, you know what? I'm changed. It's done. It worked. Epiphany from God. The pain finally stopped. 